Hey guys, Suge and Alan here. Guess where we're at? Where are we at, Suge? We're in Mexico. Ensenada, Mexico. And we're about to do the wine country tour. So let's go. Come with us on this adventure. Let's get some... Let's get some wine. Five o'clock <laughs> o'clock somewhere. All right, we are out on the pier waiting for our... Our line to form, line has not formed for that. We see La Bufadora, there's a couple of different excursions there's for that. There's a lot of excursions out here. Yeah, so they told us that uh, we'll be lining up in a minute. Our time is uh, 9.48 or 9.45 to 9.45 meet. meet up. Yeah, and then 10 o'clock the tour is supposed to start. So we just waiting. It's a little bit of an overcast. Yes. Yeah, but it feels, man, it feels good out here. It's nice and cool. Alan is a polar bear. He likes anything cold. It's nice and cool, so all right. All right, we're about to give our ticket so we can get on the bus. Let's go. All right, this is our chariot, bus 108. It's going to get us over to the wine country tour. Yeah. It's a big winery, it's a corporation known as El Aicheto. At El Aicheto, you have a tour around the factory, then you have a wine tasting spot, and, uh, and you will taste bread and cheese and the olive oil that produced right there. Mm -hmm. Of course, you have a time to buy some wines if you want to, you have a, a chance to take a pictures. After that, my friend right here, the bus driver, the bus driver, and the way back, and the way back, he will give it to you a bottle of wine, a free one. That's the answer for you. And the same thing happens with the wine. If you see one place, they have the grapes and then like a small base just because some people live there and the grapes go inside and the fermentation is there, that could be organic wine. But the human hands is not organic. So ladies and gentlemen, if you look on your left on the right hand side, you will see the olive trees. The olive trees are the Spain, are the Spanish olive trees. And they, they put it here as a fence. They use them against the, as a, they are the windbreakers. You live in California or you're from California, we have the Santana winds right here. They block, they use them against the plague and they used to produce the olive oil. One olive tree is start producing olives after 25 years. Yes, 25 years and they can, and they, one olive tree, they can produce one ton of olives. So right now also, ladies and gentlemen, as an artisanal winery, if you want to use the restrooms, just be caught behind the bushes. <laughs> if, you, if, you are shy, if, you are, if you are shy, just close your eyes and no one there will see you. <laughs> the restroom you will find right there. The restroom you will find right there. And, and the second winery is where you will get the free bottle of wine. Okay guys, we just made it here to our first stop of the wine tour. We got off the bus, it was about a 45 minute ride. Got a ticket. We got a ticket. So now we're gonna go in and check out some wine. Go. Let's go. Oh, 
All right, wine tasty. Same thing. Same one for me. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Alright. Let's get out of the way. Okay. So uh, this is the Chipotle. Chipotle. Yeah. It's sweet. Oh really? Mm -hmm. It's not burning your mouth. It's sweet. I was thinking it was gonna taste. Uh -oh. And the more I chew, it's getting hot. <laughs> Shoes. You gotta try yours. Yeah. All right. <laughs> you gonna try and taste your Chipotle? Watch the more you chew, it's gonna um, taste spicy. Yeah, no. Uh -huh. Do you feel the warmness yet? Oh, yeah, my mouth is hot. Good. Yeah, sweet. yeah, real sweet. All right. So they said next we can go over here. Oh, I feel lots of warmness. It's over here. This is where you give your ticket. Taste your wine. Oh, let's see. Hi. Yes, I am ready. All righty. Thank you. These are the four right here. Okay. All right, go get yours. We're gonna taste our wine. All right, we're gonna go grab a seat. Alan's gonna grab his. All right. Okay. Man, my mouth is hot. <laughs> yes. See, you like spicy stuff. That didn't even seem spicy. <sighs> All right, guys. So we're going to taste these. I'm going to let Alan go first. What? Yes, yes. You got to go first. Okay. Which one do you want to start on? Um, on the opposite end. This the clear? Here? Yeah. Okay. Let me know what that tastes oh. like. Yeah. Look at that face, you guys. No, so we're, no. we're not wine. <laughs> but I, Don't but tell I them. Go I know. We got four cups. Frowned up at. I like it. You like it? I'm probably not gonna like these, but this clear one, yeah. Usually like it when it's got like a sweetness to it, and I didn't taste any sweetness. No, not really. Like it has that dry. I don't know. It's dry, but I liked it. That was good. Okay. All right. Whew. All righty. Let's see. All right. All right. Remember, this is the hottest one. Is it? I thought it went back with No. Oh. And some of these aren't in a row anymore. So. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Which one of these green ones is the hottest? Do you know? This, one, this is the hottest. Okay, I don't want that. <laughs> okay. I know. Okay. Cheese. Okay. You want some sauce? Yep. Which one the hottest? Yeah, I'll try that one on. Uh oh. Try that on one. <laughs> Oh my goodness, ready? Just put it on all your chips. No, put it on one because I want to try the other ones too. That's good. That's good. Okay. 
Not for me. I'm going to try this one. Okay. Some, some bread. Oh, okay. Uh oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. There we go. No, you just put it on chip. Bag. I put it on your chip. Yeah. You can move it once we sit okay. down. Because I want some more of them sauces. Oh, okay. And you don't want any pizza? No. Okay, so let's try the different so sauce can, You can for use you. your hands. Just move that piece of bread off the chip. Perfect. Just stick it there. All right. So you want to try this one? Sure. Put that on one of them. Okay. That's okay. that one. Okay. As long as we don't mix up the hot ones That's, for nobody. Is that the same as that? No, they're all different. Oh, okay. Yeah, see, that's darker. Okay. Okay. You know, I like the red. You do like the red? Yeah. Ooh, that looks hot. Okay. And I guess this is the last one. No, nope. then there's the other one too. That one? Yeah, this one? I need that. All right. Oops. <laughs> and then there's a red one back there by the toothpicks. Oh, yeah. And I got a chip underneath there. Hold on. Oh, let's move it. I see it. Yeah. Oh, that's on the same chip bag. Yeah, it's right here by my thumb, baby. There we go. Okay. Okay. Is that it for the sauces? I think so. Alrighty. I wanted the olive oil. Oh, okay. Is that this one? That's the chipotle. Oh, uh, no. Try that one over there. That is Arden de uh, Ajo. I Let's don't see. Know. Which one's the olive oil? All of them. Oh, oh. oh. different types. Okay. Of this one is a, with this one is with garlic, garlic garden. They have the leaves and the oh. flowers of the garlic. Okay. Garlic, this yeah. one is uh, garlic and spices. No spices. No, 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 no. I mean spices. Yeah. Uh, spices. You probably want this one right here. This one probably. It's not, it's not spicy. Okay. So grab it. Which one? On that big one right there. This one. Yep. Okay. okay. I'm gonna put mine on the plate. All right. All right. We're slowing and then here's the down. pizza. You want a slice of pizza? No. If it's Alrighty. not pepperoni, I don't eat it. All, All right. right. Let's go back and taste. That's lunch. Looks looks tasty. They looks some, hot. They got some water over there in case it starts burning our mouth. Okay. <sighs> And of right. course, I'm going to have Alan go first. So this next wine, the one we just drank, is... Which was a, the clear one. Which was the clear one. A Greenwich Blanco. Sounds if good. If I'm saying it right. This next one here is a, is a Cabernet Sauvignon. Okay. Maybe. So we'll try that one. All right, one. so go for that one. So let's do some chips. I don't know which, which flavor this is. I have no is. idea, yeah. But I'll tell you if it's spicy. That dark green was the yeah, real spice. That's the real spice, yeah. It's got like a sweet taste. Now I can taste the spice. Sp okay. See, I taste the spice when it was Chipotle. Just a, yeah, that's good. Okay. All right, so here's this wine. What was it again? Cabernet Sauvignon. Okay. Sauvignon. All right, go for it. Let me get this out of my mouth first. Okay. Mm. Oh, you made a face. Again, disclaimer, we're not real wine drinkers. <laughs> oh, okay, he finished it. So, what does it taste? Dry, sweet. Not really sweet. No. Oh. Tastes like wine. Wine that's there's to me there's sweet wine and there's not sweet wine. Yeah. And that's a not sweet wine. Okay. Mm, okay. Okay. Your okay. turn. <laughs> All right. Um, I'll start with a chip. Now I didn't put that green the hot super hot spicy. sauce. Yeah, no super spicy. This is supposed to be the mild one. It's still spicy. I like it, but it's spicy. Mm. Like, did I mix them up? <laughs> that was spicy. Okay. Mm. Okay, now I gotta wash it down. 
All right, right, so I'm gonna taste the same one that you just taste. Help me say the name. <laughs> you asked me that when I got cheese in my mouth. <laughs> Cabernet Sauvignon. Okay, that. Mm, now this is real dry. I don't know. <laughs> I'm trying that, to. That was a facial expression. I'm trying not to make facial expressions. Okay, not my favorite. So far, still, it's the first one, the clear. Oh, okay. And I'm going to finish it. Polish it off. All right, Follow that was that. number two. All right, so now we're starting on wine number three. Yep. This is Corazon de Ruby. Sounds good. Yeah, it looks, looks like a ruby color. Let's try a green one here. Oh yeah, I know for a fact I put the hot one on yours. Yeah, was that the other one I just ate or? Mm -mm, Cause you said it wasn't but, hot. Oh, but was it green? Yes. What was that mine? Me. Mine was green. All right, this is the only green one I see. Okay, let's check. Oh, I think maybe that green one ran down that chip. Any spice yet? A little bit. A little, okay. It's got good flavor though. But again, you like spicy, so. You like spicy to a point. Mm. Mm. Okay. All right, next one. That's when I said look hot because look how dark red it is. What you think of that one? Not as not as uh, not as sweet. Okay. More salty. But not hot. Yeah, it's hot too. Okay, and again, we did not keep them in order, so we don't know the names of the sauce. <laughs> All right, you're going for wine. Yeah. Oh, we did three. Wine number three already. No, we haven't, baby. Oh, okay, guys, sorry. Wine number three, blue. There we go. This is this is that Corazon de Ruby. Oh, okay, that's the one I just tried then. No, but that's next for you. Okay, guys, I'm crazy. <laughs> Let's see. That's a little sweeter. Yeah, that's sweeter. Okay, so maybe bit. I like that. What's the verdict? That's my favorite so far. So far, okay. All right, that's his favorite so far. You want to try that fourth one? This one? Yes. No, no. Wait till you try yours. <laughs> I was trying to get you to go first. Okay. I'm warming up, y'all. I'm warming up. I'm warming Round up. three. Okay. We well, got some green. It's on green. There. All I know is it is supposed to be mild. Mm. I don't know. Everything tastes spicy to me. Sweet, but spicy. Sweet, but spicy. Maybe I just have that spicy taste in my mouth already. Hmm. Exactly. Okay. Now, yeah, so I'm going to go for the wine. All right, so she's on the Carazon de Ruby. Mm -hmm. That's what this one is? Okay. Ooh. <laughs> wow. That one's real sweet. You like this one? Yeah. Mm. That's real sweet. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if I could drink it all. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Maybe you are a wine drinker. You like that plain game. Yeah, the clear one. Huh. All right, I'm going to go. I'm going to move on to this one. No, you got to get that one in the next <laughs> round. <laughs> okay, guys. <laughs> chug, 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 chug. <laughs> that is so my least favorite. Uh-oh. Yeah. Now that fourth one might be a, a doozy. Okay. All right. All right, my turn. All right, here we go. This is last but not least. This the, this the honey wine. Well, let's get it. Let's get oh, yeah, chippy. do your chip first. So I got I got green on this one. I think that's the real spicy. Yeah, the the dark green was the spiciest, I think. No. I, no, I, I'm confused. I'm it. pretty sure this one was the spicy one. But okay. I'll, I'll tell you in a minute. Oh. And then that one, I don't know. Mm -hmm. I it tastes like a, like a lot of butter in there. Okay, see, I didn't put that one on my chip, so. Okay, unless would you go, it's a creeper. Would you go back for more? 
of that flavor? Yeah, I would. Okay. I love that butter flavor. Mm. Everything I'm tasting is just hot. I don't want to mix it. Let's try this side. He's thinking. The yellow's got like a sweetness to it. Like a tang. Yeah. Mm. All right. So I'll mix tang and butter. <laughs> yeah. Can I borrow your napkin? Oh. Yeah. All right. All right. You go. Here we go. Go for that last wine. Honey wine. Honey wine. Here we go. Yeah. That's the sweetest. That's my favorite right there. Oh my goodness. Yeah, me too. So we on the same yeah. page. Yeah. yeah. Mm. I was not feeling that one. Wow. I'm scared to drink my ice. All That's right. definitely my favorite right so, there. Okay, so there it is, guys. His fourth one, which is the honey. Yep, honey wine. Honey wine, that's Alan's favorite. So far, my favorite was number yeah. one. Yeah, yeah. All right. All right, I'm going to try mine, guys. That's a good way to put it. Hmm. All right. I, I, maybe I need to swirl it. From my wine drinkers, don't you supposed to like... <laughs> you asking me like I'm a wine drinker. Aren't you supposed to like swirl it? Yeah. Yes. It's, it's because they have legs. Yeah. Uh, Our daughter is... She's an event planner, so she's done. Oh, okay. Big okay. money for the. That's a nice job. Uh, wow, yeah, yeah, that's <laughs> nice. There's something about you swirl it and then you see the legs and that tells you something. That's as far as I got with it. Okay. Huh. Yeah, I just see people swirl it. So I'm like, maybe that's what I'm supposed to do. All right. Oh. Yeah, you've had too much to drink at that point, I think. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. Here we go. It's real, 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 real sweet. I don't know. I think you got it right with, with a good slice of cheesecake. That'd be good. Yeah. Mm. No. yeah. I don't know. All right, guys. It's a no. What about your cracker there with the green? Yeah, huh? let me try that. It's a no? Yeah. The, it was number one, the clear. Oh. That dry. Actually, my little, I should have put it on top because you uh, see how it's on my plate. I probably wouldn't really get the taste of it. That's the one that's got the butter flavor. Mm, that's the one I should have put actually on the cracker or chip. Because, yeah, I can't scoop it. Uh, so, oh well. All right, so you like the first one the best? Number one, guys. I like the last one the best. Mm. And then the two in between is a no for me. It's a no? It's a no. Okay. Guys, I gave Alan, they said this was the hottest one. I put the olive oil on his bread. I don't know how hot it is. I just know he said Italian spicy. Hmm. I wanted some garlic. That's actually what I put on my bread. You want to try mine? <laughs> no, I Look, I scared you're just, get, you're just getting over a cold, <laughs> so I'll let that go. Oh, okay. I All know, right. guys. So if I sound hoarse, that's why. All right, so that was a no-go? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Well, I'm going to try mine. All right. All right. I cheated. I told him to give me the most mild um, olive oil, and I gave Alan the most spiciest. So let me try. Isn't that nice of you? Because mm -hmm. you can handle it. Mm. And I don't know if I like it. Did he say that was the garlic one, or they had one yeah, of those garlic? Yeah, I taste the garlic. Oh, okay, sorry, not feeling that one. I don't know if I could chew anymore. <laughs> Put some cheek. Mm. All right, but for the record, oh my God, this pizza is good. Uh -huh. I'm gonna go ahead and finish this last little piece, and then we're gonna move on. All right. All right, and when you come back outside, this is what you see. Usually, last time we was here on this excursion, we were able to sit outside, but I think because they're doing a little construction over there, so they have us inside. And then this is actually the different wines up there on the board. I'll leave it here for a minute if you want to pause it so you can read it. All I knew is the clear one. <laughs> that was my favorite. The rest, I'm not too. I think that was that first one up there. Oh, which one? Under Blancos. Oh, the Severn, Severn? 
Can't say it, guys, sorry. But yeah, it was pretty nice. But yeah, it's really nice out here. I know they used to have people out here playing music, the violin, but I guess because they're doing some work. Let's go look over here. All right, so we came out here. Ooh, the sun, can you see it on my face? It feels so good. It was cold in there. It felt good in there. Feels good out here. You could too. put Alan inside a freezer room and he'll still be hot. Put me in an igloo. All right, I'm gonna spin around, and give you guys a look. Photo bomb. Photo bomb. <laughs> Very nice. All right. So we're about to move on to our next wine tour. We're gonna, I think they said it was like 10 minutes away from here, but we'll see how long the bus ride is. Yep. All right, so see you guys in a minute. All right, guys, we made it to our second stop for our wine tasting tour. This is called Cito, if I'm saying it correctly, C-E-T-T-O. <laughs> La Cito. Oh, okay, I left the La out, La Cito. So we're gonna check this wine out here and we'll let you know how this one tastes. We've done lots of wine tasting tours here in Ensenada, but this is a first for us. We were at the last stop. We've been there before, but we have not been to this stop before. Here we are at the biggest winery in Mexico, LHP. This company uh, is a family company. It was it is from Italy. Angelo Cheto comes to Tijuana in 1928. He started to uh, make a wine, but his son, Luis Agustin Cheto, that's why LA Cheto. He is the one who made this company a huge business. So we have the 60% of the wine we drink here in Mexico is from El Echeco. And the other 40% of the wine we export to different countries like uh, uh, Canada, US, uh, uh, and Italy, French, uh, also Germany, Portugal, Switzerland, Japan, China, Argentina, Chile, etc. So there's a lot of wine. Now this is a winery. Also, <laughs> so we are at the fermentation room. All this tank has a uh, 52,000 liters and 92,000 liters. Do you remember the substance I talked you about in the heat coil? We use these rings uh, as a, say, a cooler system. All the, the glycol will be here when the fermentation happens. The fermentation, as you know, will be the yeast, will be eat all the sugar of the wine, then it will be converted in alcohol and CO2 as a natural process. But if we have a red grape and a white grape, what's going to happen? The, the juice will be completely transparent. So, how we can do uh, and make a lot of beautiful colors with the wine? That's, the, that's why we have to uh, in the, the fermentation with the skin of the grape. So for the red wine, we will leave uh, two, two weeks to six weeks uh, fermentation the wine and we took away all the, all the skin for the rosé, only two hours and then we took away all the skin and for the white one, practically is a uh, filter immediately. Once mm -hmm. we don't want any more the, the skin of the grape, we're gonna use this uh, warm tube with no oil. We're gonna push all, all the sediment <laughs> onto there and we'll come to the press machine. Do you remember I talked about it? So, and when we squeeze all this wine, we're gonna use it like uh, for wine for oak. Now this is what you call a wine factory. Look how huge these are. 
All right, guys, look at those wine. What'd you call them? Wine barrels? You guys ready for a drink? Okay. I see a spigot on each one of those. Uh huh, good taste. Yeah. Look how he, I'm gonna go up some more. Yeah, they got ladders going up there, stairs. Massive. Guys. So, we are in front of the Pites Vinifera. This is a plant who has the capable from make wine, from make grapes for wineries. Okay? This plant be, uh, comes to America from Europe uh, on the conquest. Uh, literally comes to Mexico and Veracruz. This is the start of the country. They're starting to go in up. Then uh, uh, they come to Parras Coahuila and they go with not and, and they came here to California and Mexico and US. What happened here? Our weather is uh, the perfect for the plant. So we have a lot of isolation hours. We have uh, a lot of wine, cold wine, and there's not much water. That's what the plant needs. All right, guys, you see the view behind us? Beautiful. Yeah, now we know where it all comes from. Yeah, we need to come out here and get wine. Well, not us necessarily. <laughs> but if you are wine lovers, come to Ensenada. They grew some Dr. Pepper back here. <laughs> Might be a different story. Alan would be here if they did. It's nice and cold in here. <laughs> Ooh, what is the temperature in here? We are um, 18, 21 Celsius. Um, it's like uh, 50, 50 Fahrenheit. Beautiful. Okay. He loves it though. Uh -huh. Beautiful. So we are on um, the storage of the barrels oak. We have different capacities and different uh, ty uh, types of oaks. Right there, we will have one who has the capacity of uh, 12,500 uh, 12, liters. Uh, we use it just for classic land and wine for the church. We just leave the wine like three, three months. And we just directly to the bottle machine. Uh, this kind of wood is, will be Hungarian red oak. Okay. Here, we have a different system of, the, of oak. This will be Solera. Uh, here we use for the dessert wines. We have mm -hmm. Moscatello and Palomino here. Uh, this has the capacity of uh, 1,200 liters uh, and it's from Crecho. This will be the same system, but it has a 600 capacity uh, liters. Yeah. And right there is that little one, uh, Barrel Oaks. They have a 300 capacity of liters. Mm -hmm. But here we will, we will use uh, French oak and American oak. <coughs> Only for the boutique and private reserve like uh, like flower wines. All right, guys, look at these barrels. Huge. That's a lot of wine. Massive. <laughs> and it goes all the way down. You guys can see down there on both sides. Okay, are we ready? All that's right. a lot of wine. That's, a, that's what I said. That's a lot of wine. All right, we're following our tour guide. She said, whoever wants wine, follow her. So of course, we're all gonna follow her. <laughs> I just might become a wine lover. I don't think that red wine is for me. I'm more of the clear and sweet. Actually, clear and dry. I'm more of a clear and dry now that I've been tasting different wines. So that might be my next go-to. Okay, so let's see. Let's take a look in there. Can you see in there? Yeah. <laughs> oh. All right. Okay. Food 
by one, and we just use those, those loops, it's, it is faster. Mm -hmm. Okay? Then follow me here, please. It is so pretty out here, and the weather is perfect today. It started off real gloomy, but look at it now. Here at, at the old part of the winery, here, this building was uh, on 40. We still to make all the process here. Right now we just use it like a common area for the employees. Ooh, right here. Me too. Let's go. <laughs> because I'm stuck being thirsty. <laughs> So the equipment out here, you said this is what used to be used? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Wow. From the 40s to 60s, okay. we start to change a lot of our machines. All right, look at all the old machinery oh, they used to right use. Here in this building, we have the distillery machine. That here is where we make our grappa, and also we used to make the brandy from Domecq. I don't know if you haven't heard it. Domecq is a, yeah, they may make a lot of uh, wine in the brandy. Mm -hmm. But right now, they nowadays they don't do it Everybody start running now. All righty. Okay, on the number one door, please. Number one, I'll, okay. I'll follow you. All right, we made it inside. This is where we're going to get some more wine. She said walk over to door number one which is right there with our tour guide. Oh. All right, we got some more bread, some more cheese. Nice, yeah. So right now, ladies and gentlemen, as soon as my friend, my friend show up right here at Tomella, uh, as soon as we started tasting, maybe she told you that uh, you will taste for wines two whites and two reds. We'll start low intensity to high intensity. The glasses remind here. Okay? Yeah, if you want to come over there, you can you, come on. You can walk with your, with your glasses outside if you want to. The prices are in pesos. Okay, 300, 400 are in pesos. As soon as we start with the tasting, the bread is uh, this bread we used to make tortas. The best torta means Mexican sandwich. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right here in Mexico, we have a sentence. The best tortas, they have the best bread. Right here. Hey, hey, go, go. <laughs> so the cheese is a Monterrey Jack cheese from Mexican, Mexican Costco. No, I'm okay. No, no, no. <laughs> this is look I'm really feeling. But I guess it's pretty good. All this oil is from the trees you see outside. Uh, so you don't want to press anything, please be my guest. And. And. That's it. Zip it. Okay, guys, are we thirsty? Yes. I bet you are. You have a long walk. Yeah. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, well, the one story about the, the core screws, this one, it is, it is a, it has the blade, the blade. And, but this is a two step core screw. You see, it's one time, two times. And mine is only one time core screw. So, so. It's easier, a lot easier. Race, race. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> One, two, three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> A 
Shenin Black. It doesn't have oak. Will be directly from the steam steel tank to the bottle machine. 2022. So we'll okay. be really young. No, uh, no, no. Okay. We'll be Shenin Black from French. Okay. We'll be 12.5% of alcohol, so it will be oh, interesting. We'll be fun. For a white one, it's kind of high. We, we're going to find some uh, jasmine smells, uh, like a chamomile even, a lot of uh, lemon, white, uh, yellow lemon too, and even melon will be fine. Alright, here we go. We're going in. Yeah. So you pour the olive oil, pour it, pour it slowly. Uh oh, because sorry. Because the, the color of the bottle is a big hole. You put fast, it will be a mess, and you will get nasty. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we got glass number one. All right. Cheers, babe. Glass number one. Hey guys, this is number one. Remember, I told you I'm learning. Yeah, look. Woo, look at that spin. All right, guys. Here we go. See, I like this one. And that's probably because it's clear and it's like dry. What you think? It's not as dry as that other one. Okay, well, I like this one. I'm going to put yours with mine. Oh, sorry. All right, so now I'm about to taste the cheese with the bread and olive oil. Oh, this one's better. Is that the one? olive oil. What's I it think taste so. like? Olive oil. <laughs> okay. I can't I explain have. it. I'm going to let you try it. Yeah, you try. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, taste it. Go for the cheese. The cheese is good always. That one's when you back to it. Now take a bite of the bread. Mm. Tell me if it tastes like the other one. You get the clear sauce Taste the same or different? Mm. That was good. Pretty good, huh? All right. So we're going to finish this wine so we can get number two. All right, this is number two. Yes, number two. Number one was a what? I don't know, but I like the number one. Thank you. I'm going to swirl it. Ready? Yeah. She's going for some red wine. <laughs> yeah, with this number three. Thank you. All right, let's try to do the swirl <laughs> and see what it tastes like. You might like this one. It's more sweet. No, it's not sweet, but I don't know how to explain it. <laughs> So many of you hold the glass in the incorrect way. The correct way to hold the glass is by the stem or by the base. Why? For two things. They, the, the wines, they have a specific temperature to consume, to feed the flavors. If you hold like this, like this, the fancy way like this, or hand is warm. You can change the flavor of the wine. Second thing, our hands are greasy. If you hold like this, they will be greasy and they will be blurred. And that was using our sight, well, that's why the table is white, that's why the glass is white, because you can go against the table, against the sunlight, use the colors. You go like this also, on the white table, go like this or like this, you will see a ring around the wine. That one is uh, the age, the older it is, less shining, less bright, and it's less color. It's like a, when you, a, a black teacher. If you washing, washing, washing a longer time, they will lose in color. The same thing happens with this. That's a sign. A smell. The reason I tell you don't don't, don't smell or swirl is because take all your not the wine will not smell like this. Get all your nose inside because they, they are heavier. 
the flavors, the, the aromas are heavier than sometimes the perfume, the cream. That's why. Yeah. All right, let's see. Mm. Uh, and by the way, uh, for this Petit Syrah, uh, this one, we can say, uh, is, a, is a brand new in here because only two, uh, two years ago, they only used to export to Europe. You can find it here in Mexico. Then, the, uh, yes, what? Then they met the Mexican, the owner said, no, well, why the Mexicans can try this excellent wine? And two years ago, they can sell it right here in the store, the Petit Syrah, because they had the Petit Syrah, but a classic line. Uh -huh. That's different. Mm -hmm. Isn't it? Thank you. Am I correct, right? Yeah. yeah. And this one? Yeah, we yeah. got expert. That's that's expert. Alright guys, this is giving you another view from a different angle. This is on the back side of the wine tour. This is so pretty. Oh, Alan's thirsty. He's gonna take that one to the head. You can do it, you can do it, you can do it. Oh, he stopped. Again, I recommend doing the wine tasting tour if you are into wine. They have several different ones. This was actually our first time at this location. We've been to the others, but this one, I like this one. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah, and we get a free bottle of wine. How about that? <laughs> Green Acres? Green Acres. <laughs> All right, guys. I've known Suge for eight years now, and I never knew that. Green Acres is, is the, the place, place to be. be. I don't know what comes after that. But yeah. Oh, my God. How cool is this? So, Can you climb up there or no? Um, I don't know. Let's see if I can get in there. Yeah, there's a step. All right, there we go. All right, guys. I officially have my tractor's license. Let's let's get it from the other side. <laughs> you want to take a ride with me? <laughs> Somehow I don't know if she. I'm not sure if you should take a ride with me. Don't either. know if she looks like a tractor driver, but. I mean, blew off through the fence. But anything's possible. Alright, so that was the end of our wine tour here at La Cito. Now we're heading back to our bus, which is 108. It's very important that you get back on the right bus. You don't want to get on the wrong one. And as we get on the bus, we are given a free bottle of wine. Watch out. I think Suge is becoming a wine lover. I wonder if it's red or white. Oh, I hope it's white. Ah, let's see. Oh, thank you. All right, guys. So here's my bottle of wine. I'll wait till I get home to open it up. <laughs> All right, we're back on the bus. We got our free bottle of wine. Woo. Should we open it on the ship or should we wait till we get home? 2021. Yeah, so I don't know. We'll see. We'll taste it. All right, guys, that is it for the wine country tour. I think Suge had a little too much wine. One too many, guys. <laughs> it's starting to mess with I her. think drinking all those different uh, wines back to back. You know, the different kinds. Yeah. Yeah, we got a cool little bottle to take home with us. Yes, We've never we did. done that before. That was interesting. So what'd you guys think of the tour? Is it something you guys would do? You guys wine drinkers? Put it in the comments below. And if you're not wine drinkers, don't do don't drink too many like I did. Yeah, it's going to mess with your stomach. I stopped. Yeah, you did. You were smart. <laughs> yeah, I was smart. So, But all right, thanks, guys, for watching. And don't forget, if you're currently not subscribed, yes. please consider doing so. That really helps out the channel. Hit the like button if you liked it. And again, like I always say, if you're still here, you must have liked it. And hit the, what else? We got the notification bell. I want bell. that notification bell yeah. so you guys can know when all our new vlogs are up. Yeah, it sounds like I had one, I have one too many glasses. <laughs> yeah, and you stopped before me. <laughs> yeah, I know, huh? Okay. So anyhow, thanks for sticking around, guys. We appreciate it. And we will see you on our next adventure. Bye. Bye.